So we're going to start out with this composite staff. See, there's seven different sections in here. And then it's got a madrone handle. This is all crafted from agave. This plant is also known as the century plant. And this staff is crafted from a hollowed out stalk, also known as the caudex. The way I hollowed this out is by heating a metal rod in the fire and then shoving it through the soft pith of the dried stalk and then blowing into it. You can see here just fantastic, beautiful colors come out and patterns uh, when you blow inside of this when it's on fire on the inside. And then as the cinders approach the hard exterior of the agave stalk, you can just dip the ends of these into some water and you'll have a hollowed out agave stock to work with. Each of these hollowed out sections then, I used a file and filed them out to make them nice and smooth on the inside. And then Mighty Hero Dan Oakenleaf helped me saw off the ends of these so they were nice and flat. Next, I took a pull and put it through each of the sections so that I had them separated into two rows and poured resin over the top rows so that when the resin fell off, it landed on the second set. That way I didn't have to waste any of the resin. And then for this prototype, I used PVC piping screws and two-part epoxy. Um, caution, don't eat epoxy so that each section could screw into the next section, like pool cues. See, there's these seven different chambers on it, and you can actually unscrew them. It's got PVC piping on the inside, and these are hollow chambers so they can store things. Two of them will be filled with oak coals and silver for water purification, so you've got a walking stick that literally carries things for you and purifies water. Very lightweight. Agave is way lightweight. Good stuff. So the next thing I want to tell you about is this leather cloak. This is made from really thin leather and this is going to be waterproofed real soon. And you'll see there's these pockets in the corners of it. And these are actually straps, so it can be hung up and turn into an instant tarp to keep waterproof. And then this can be attached to other, shell, other um, cloaks like this, and then connect it, and then they make a bigger tarp. And if you have six or seven or eight people wearing things like this, you can have an instant teepee-shaped structure to keep you waterproof so when you're out in the wilderness, and then you have more time to build your shelter after you first get there. So yeah, we've got another one of these, of course, right here. So on the inside of the front of this uh, tarp cloak, it has two silk sacks. These help counterbalance the cloak for weight, and also I sleep in these at night. These are great. These are 10 degrees of warmth each. These are the same things I've got here. Very lightweight. So 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees. Uh, 40, 50 degrees, 60 degrees, and with two people it's 120 degrees. Each of them has eight of these, it's 160 degrees and very lightweight. You don't have to put it in one spot on your body like a sleeping bag, so it's got good weight distribution. And this is all physically comprised of microweave ripstop silk. And these things are really big. Look, you can fit about three people my size can fit in these comfortably, and then they just layer up. And then if it's a hot summer day and there's just bugs and you want to keep them out, it'll keep the bugs out and won't keep you too warm. And then the rest of them, imagine eight of these just all laying on top of each other. They all billow up really nicely. And so then you got padding to sleep on instantly out wherever you're at in the wilderness. So then right here, as this folds out, it gets pretty big as you can see. And then down here, there's two more straps. So that's your instant sh emergency shelter. 
So when you're out there, see, uh, you don't have to carry a tent, better weight distribution. It's waterproof to keep your stuff dry. But we'll show you lots of other techniques out in the wilderness that'll keep you way comfortable for a long time. So this is just with one of these. You can imagine with two, covers a lot more space. You get four people out there. You can keep your stuff real dry really easily. And then, as you can see, it's a pretty warm day. I wouldn't normally be carrying this every day, so that's why I'm sweating a little. But this is to sleep on at night. These are secondhand furs, and they could be made from faux furs. If I found something efficiently, I'd use these. I was gifted both of these. And so, say I cut the arms off of the um, of this fur jacket here, connected them there, and that way it doesn't get you too hot because you don't have the sleeves to keep on. But then it's nice and long, so you got lots of room to lay on. And then. Uh, with these leggings, you'll see I got some more fur right here. And this can be taken off. And then when you're out, wherever, camping, right when you get there, bam! You don't have to have a big bed roll to take up a bunch of space. And then, like I said, you got these silk sacks here. pretty good bed for lightweight so these this one's actually a, a faux uh, a fake micro weave silk one it's about the same size same temperature and a fraction of the cost that one's about $25 these are about $90 or $100 each and these are on the recommended product section of wildwillpower.org Another one, and another one. All right. Okay, so you can see we got lots of bedding. We're waterproof instantly, all with stuff you can find from wherever you're at. You don't even have to be in the wilderness. And let me show you these leggings and this, my foot gear as well. These, uh, and take a look at these. These are called lightning dancers. These are still in the making, but at least you'll get the concept of how they're constructed. That folds over. See how that's the shape of the foot there? Here's the wide end of the foot and there's the thin end. This comes on the wide end of the foot and that pulls up right here, brings the arch support. This one right here pulls around to give ankle support. And then this one and this one help brace down here to walk on, help walk on the toes. This pulls the toes into place. There's another layer of arch support. And this comes around and gives another brace and helps make it more flush against the leggings. Very comfortable, I love these things. And now these leggings, these can actually be undone. These are three layers of recycled cashmere. That's usually where I keep my Swiss champ knife, but somebody took it from me. <laughs> so you can see this turns into shorts. And just pull that out. And bam, very comfortable. It's nice, it's open, in case you gotta go to the bathroom. These are called lappets, so it helps you see jumping over stuff. You don't have your legs caught, you got full mobility. So yeah, way comfortable gear, all hand stitched. And so my goal is to get enough uh, people together that wanna join up with Animal Freedom Street Theater and become our roadkill to help serve wild native foods and um, spread the vision of wild willpower and getting wild harvesting cooperatives across the country, filming teachers, making a great database and smartphone app, 
and helping gear up people like this and then we're going to be helping um, people who are working in the wild harvesting craft uh, cooperatives craft their gear and also we'd like to uh, once we get this moving enough people trained we'd like to start up cashmere for the homeless for people who are out there all the time and a lot of these people that are out on the street looking for a job they could have a great job walking through one of the national forests getting trained on life life improving skills and the good, all good stuff thanks thanks so much thanks for watching Hey, thank you so much for watching, and please let lots of people know about wildwillpower.org, and we certainly appreciate any help that you may have to offer our organization.